actually storing. I remember this case a lot when I played it the first time, like eight years ago. I definitely did five star because this is one of the hardest cases in the game to five star. As I literally. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. Well, stop, mm -hmm. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Or will they? They find out what's going on. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. That's not polite. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70 here. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? Do you see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Oh. Okay, so tell it little seven. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Mm, you're a businessman, so yes. There is. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look. We've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Yeah. Sounds like somebody's starting to come around. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Okay, you're going to tell him the law. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Okay, good. You can either do Ryan or Barley in this case. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know him, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I don't think he's wrong there. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay. I'll get it for you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just casually hands ha has it on his desk. There, around a dozen of them. The housing business is going crazy at the moment. Uh, this is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. We're not. We're about to speak two on the list. I want to run it by R and I. Cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. No, the, where is the phone? Holy cow, that's a big list. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Suck the hell out I need you. to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. You just fired like 20 names at her. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious oh, damage. Oh, Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Okay, anyone else? 
There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. How do you back this to that? Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Mm. That's Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Uh, okay, we'll let you talk. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. You know, he's starting to like me. He really likes me. Here. Happy now? No. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. What is that? Ooh. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Um, that's weird as an anarchist pamphlet. It's kind of concerning. All right, Matthew Ryan. Are you freaking kidding me? Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place. Don't we all? I'm gonna take a wild guess. He's gonna have another one. A mosquito coil? Oh. A company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Varley has a problem with bugs. That's very interesting. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasick? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. What? Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. What does Venice have to do with anything? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Okay, I don't get a choice. Uh oh, we have to have another house fire. Wait. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. We're going Where to Clemens to? first. I mean, this shouldn't be that hard. PD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Knowledge of Varley. You know Reginald Varley? No. Can't say I do. Bruh, no. Detroit PD is after Reginald Varley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. That's interesting. You were licensed and worked for Instahute? I contract for them. So what? You didn't answer the question, sir. Instahute hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. 
You did the right thing. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Bell's just back there. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Bruh. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? Yeah, actually. But we also know about... Oh, free. Clemens, our anarchist pamphlet. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. Interesting. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. All right. Can you drive to this one? Let's go to Varley. So where do you want to go? I say that house looks very familiar, but we've been to a lot of ha houses. Varley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. Really? That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. 1917. So you're the World War I Marine. That's very interesting. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Come on! Come on, Varley! So Can't keep running forever! Scenes. Stop or I will shoot! Yeah, we haven't done that in a while, so it makes me feel better. Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm going to take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley that Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guess is... Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. I mean, yeah, they look at Phelps. He, he's in love with the German junkie. You can drive. All right, one more. And where exactly are we going? Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Come on. Those are G.I.'s backyard he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move it! I'll take out the bear. That's not fair. Get in close and steer him off the tar. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. I'm trying. I got stuck with really hurt somebody. I'm hoping I didn't get penalized for that. It's no good. We need to get closer! I'm trying to, dude. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels! Wait, what? He's got an arson-related assault charge, and he's running! Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Nice job, Andy. That was impressive.
You're done. Put your hands Ooh. where I can see them. That may have been almost horrible. Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. He didn't deny it. This is the only case, by the way, that there is what what is it? It's one of the last cases in the game that there is no. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, chap. You drive. I think it's one of I the other. You go over the guys. case notes. Um, Let's get to the station and close this case. There is no newspaper. All right. There's the quick way and the long way. We're still gonna have the same answer regardless, so we're gonna do the long way so we get the stories. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. All right. Can we do two first? Probably not. So let's do one. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. All right. Anarchist literature. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. Eh, no. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? You're an ar you're anarchist. We want to do his specifically here. Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Instaheat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company, how do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Hmm. <sighs> you know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. Hmm. We're lying again, aren't we? If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? We're going to use Ivan Razik's statement here. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. Oh, freak. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Doubt. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Why is everybody a fascist? Fascist. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. We already know your record, sir. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? <laughs> Ryan's criminal record here. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Has faced those water heater company. We're going to leave the interrogation. That's it right for the now. moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry out, 
You'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Charity a suspect will close the case. That is correct. I think Ryan is our I man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Where's Varley's friend? Is it over here? Steve Sakoski arrested that movie producer. It's about time some of those movie people went to jail. Interview room is this one? There he is. Okay. Interview rooms are weird. Hello, sir. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Oh. So you work? Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs out here. I'm, I'm flat out on new installations. Of course it's a law. We know you did Why it. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? The heater that was served by Varley. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Okay. <laughs> and the redevelopment? Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principal. <laughs> you, you seem to... Your last statement contradicts that. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting the time. We can either go with Clemens or Ryan's statement here. And they both testify both ways, so I'm going to put Ryan's here. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. He'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Uh-huh. And Model 70? What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta-Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? This is very weird. Because this is a lie. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Well, huh? if you remember in his room, he had the mosquito coil in his room, or his locker. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, hang on. <laughs> Those things... They belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Wait, that last statement's very interesting. We're done for now. So what happened? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. The answer, though, is in if it's not obvious at this point, it. it is Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. What do you say, Captain? Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids is un-American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stephen Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? 
Do I get a little stamp on my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. He did kind of shoot us up in the foot there. But Ryan is the guy. That last clue is correct. I hit that person, but still five stars. Cannot complain about that. All right. I do need to state again, we only have five cases left from here on out. Including one more DLC case. So guys, next time on LA Noir, let's handle some more arson. I'll see you then.